This particular project is documented in poster 160. It is an analog computer. As opposed to using logic gates and sequential logic and flip-flop type circuits and digital chips, all the math here is done in the analog domain, although it is controlled digitally using the registers here, the digital potentiometers, green boards here, and the Arduino board here. I'll now explain the concept by which the analog computer functions. It's very simple. It is the principle of operation is that it revolves around an integrator circuit, which has an input and an output. And you supply the initial condition because every integral has a constant added to it. And this uses traditional op-amp type components. Now, what one can do is take a differential equation such as y prime prime plus one quarter y prime plus y equals zero and wire this in terms of this circuit. Um, for instance, for this particular one, you would have y prime prime equals minus one fourth y prime minus y, where y is a function, not a constant, uh, which is equivalent to just tracking this to the other side. But a particular problem should be solved to show how it works. An example was the one I gave on the previous slide, uh, second order linear differential equation. The analog computer has two general components. It has a cascaded gang of integrators. In this case, you would need two to get y from y double prime, which is the second derivative in time. And it also has a function board, which takes the integral and function terms and recombines them together to set to the highest derivative here. My modification and thesis is that you can use a microcontroller like the Arduino Mega and program it with a regular laptop as shown here. And then you can read out the function on an oscilloscope or oscillograph. And it's also possible you can feed this back to the Arduino. So you can do things like optimization or record the solutions for later use. Um, I will now show this problem on the computer itself. For instance, in the analog methodology, the function is analogous to the quantities used in the computer. Uh, this is the zero mark here. Uh, each unit is one unit. The problem being solved is y prime prime plus one fourth y prime plus y itself equals zero. The computer, by merit of its physics, can quickly solve the problems at hand. In fact, this particular problem here is being solved 330-ish times per second. We can zoom out, we can adjust the trigger to get a constant view, but it's, uh, the time is greatly, greatly faster than anything else possible. Although only one problem was solved here, many different kinds of problems can be. For instance, this is an exponentiating sine function, which is obtained by taking the damping term, which is the plus one-fourth y prime t in the earlier equation, and negating it. As one can tell, interesting waveforms can be obtained as solutions, and the ability to change the initial conditions and see the plot change in real time, so instantaneous solutions is a major benefit of analog computation. Interesting behavior can be achieved and differential equations can be solved 500 or 1000 times per second, even using the knowledge of an undergraduate level. Thank you for watching and I hope this video was interesting and insightful.